guys, it's J Dog John Carspoom. Hey, I uh, want to talk for a moment because it's summer months, right? And the temperature's going up. Gosh, we had a grand high of 82 degrees. <laughs> kind of hot around here. Hey, um, uh, so, and now when temperatures go up, bugs come into our plants, right? And uh, we did some seminars. I just noticed that um, a lot of folks have. I don't want to say a confusion, but kind of, well, there's a confusion uh, of what insecticidal soap is and what is soap and water. So oftentimes on vegetables, now I'm very big on vegetables that we keep things as clean as possible. So I, I rarely like to spray, uh, so I certainly don't spray any chemicals on my edibles. But what if you get aphids, if you get aphids, types of bugs on your vegetables, here's an option. Now, some folks say, well, you know, I mix soap and water. And that really doesn't do anything, except you've got clean bugs. And some folks will spray off the aphids, what have you. And aphids, by the way, are, are you know, they latch in, in they, they, they bite into your plant and suck all the juices out of it. And so when you get a heavy infestation, you know, that's what, that weakens the plant and of course it weakens your vegetables. So uh, if, you're, if you've got aphids, one option to do is insecticidal soap. And that's the option that I like to do on edibles. What's the difference between insecticidal soap, insecticidal soap, if you can read that, um, you generally has, well they have a couple of different um, um, active ingredients, but most often you'll have salts of potassium, um, potassium salts of fatty acids, excuse me, all natural ingredient. And what that essentially does is a contact spray, you spray it on your vegetables, and then any soft bodied insects, it essentially dries out. That's how, they, how it kills the bugs. Now, so, so that's different than soap and water. So I just want to make sure that uh, if you're trying to kill the bugs on your vegetables, use insecticidal soap versus soap and water. So anyway, guys, that's the show. I <laughs> hope I didn't belabor the point. That's the show, guys. Always live your passion. You see me right out of the sunset of the color TV screen.